Welcome to TechResults Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to encrypt uh, Azure Data Factory with customer managed keys. Uh, and uh, in the last video, I uh, have in the playlist uh, where I use the manage identity. So that uh, that's where we actually added our uh, Azure Data Factory to the key vault and provide the permission. Uh, here, what we are going to do, we are going to use the user assign a manage identity. So think about that uh, uh, in the last scenario, what we did, uh, we created the uh, Azure Data Factory first uh, and then uh, uh, add the Azure Data Factory in the key vault uh, and uh, as a managed entity and then uh, uh, created the customer managed keys. And here, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create the man user uh, assigned managed entity first and then create the Azure Data Factory. So let me take you to the link uh, so you can take from there. So here what we have, uh, this is uh, the topic, uh, uh, why we need to do that. So it is uh, used to encrypt your data. So if uh, uh, you don't have that uh, customer manage uh, uh, encryption key, that's um, fine. Uh, your data factory has itself, uh, you know, uh, and uh, Microsoft provide that too. So, but when you will enable that one, uh, that means that uh, you are gonna use both keys uh, to encrypt your data. So that's actually more secure, so that's good. Now, what you will be doing here in the last video, what I was talking about, uh, we um, uh, use uh, the customer manager keys uh, and uh, we added the data factory as a manager identity in the key vault. But here, in this case, uh, we are talking about this scenario where we do not have uh, actually Azure Data Factory created first uh, and we would like to create, but uh, as uh, on the key vault, uh, there is no permission for the Azure Data Factory. So you have to create some user uh, assigned uh, managed identity. That's where we are going to create that. Okay, so there is a topic uh, how to use uh, that manager user uh, assigned manager ident uh, identities and all that. So you can uh, uh, kind of learn about that. So there are two types of them. One is called the system and the other one is the users. Uh, and systems are such as Azure Data Factory, you add to another resource as a managed entity and then Azure Data Factory will have all the permission to see that resource, whatever you permission provide. Um, here in the user assigned, we'll be creating one and then providing the permission. So let's go right here in the portal and the first of all what we will be doing we will be creating a, uh, let's say we create the key okay so in the key uh, what we need to do here uh, we are going to go to the key vault and uh, in the key vault uh, what we have there we are going to go to the keys and the generator once you click on generator it's going to ask you the name of the key so in my case i'm going to call this one maybe adf test you know the key so that's fine and uh, then uh, what we will do, we will go ahead and say create. It's going to create the key and uh, you can see that's the key and uh, with this is the link uh, we can uh, copy once we need to use it somewhere. Okay. Now there is no permission on this key, right? So what we have to do if you go to the access policies, uh, here you can add that uh, access policies. So right now, um, as we don't have any managed identity, uh, user managed identity, we don't, we can't really add anything here. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to search for managed identities. Okay, so you're gonna find uh, uh, this managed identity here and then we are gonna create a managed identity. So it's called user managed identity. So in this case, uh, I will be selecting my subscription, I will be selecting my resource group and then I will be selecting uh, the region and then the name of that. So in my case, I'm going to call this one, uh, let's see, Tech Brothers MI, okay? So that's what we will create. So now it is uh, creating our user assigned managed identity. So it should be available in just a couple of seconds. Yep, it's uh, got created. And you can see from there, you know, that's the name of a uh, resource group. And then you have, uh, it's called the user assigned manager entity and in the East US and all that. Okay, so now we go back here. Remember that we have created the key in the key vault. And uh, in the key vault, what we have, we have a key, we have to provide the permission to this uh, user assigned uh, uh, managed entity. So what we are gonna do, this is the key, and uh, we are gonna go to the access policies here in the key vault, and then add the access policy right there. Now here, what you will be saying, uh, first of all, what type of permission you need? Uh, you need a get list and unwrap and wrap. That's the four permission you need on this, this key. And then you're gonna do one thing. You're gonna go ahead and so let's say select, and then I will type tech brothers. Uh, this guy tech brothers MI. Okay, 
So we select that and uh, we add. As you can see that uh, we have our user manager uh, uh, identity here and uh, these are the four permissions we have provided uh, to the uh, on the keys and we should be good here. Now save it and after same and uh, what we are going to do here we are going to go to key and uh, then uh, we are going to select some uh, information from here. So key identified that's what we need to select. Uh, now I will go to the portal again at the main portal and then uh, I will search for the data factories uh, right here data factories and I will create a new data factory. So we will uh, go ahead and uh, select a resource group east to us is just fine and I'm going to call uh, tech brothers dash adf dash dev okay. So that's the name of the Azure data factory I'm uh, providing and uh, then uh, git configuration I'm not going to do it right now. In the network and uh, I'm going to enable manage virtual network on this uh, auto resolve okay that's what i'm going to do and right now i'm okay with the public endpoint we can uh, configure later for the private endpoint if you want to do our self-hosted and ir in the advanced uh, that's where uh, you are going to uh, tell enable encryption uh, by using a user manage key and remember that uh, that's uh, the user assigned identity for encryption already popped up if i would have multiple of them it will show up right here and uh, the url i just copied uh, the key identifier that's I'm going to paste it here. Now if uh, you uh, let's say uh, as uh, we are uh, here what we are doing we are actually creating the Azure Data Factory at the same time we are providing this information. So if you don't provide this information and uh, what you can do yeah, in the other video I showed uh, you can create your uh, Azure Data Factory and later on you can add the uh, key and uh, then uh, you can use actually um, Azure Data Factory as, as managed entity and provide the permission to the Azure Data Factory. So that can be done as well. But in case uh, you want to have this uh, um, two things uh, enable manage virtual network if you want to enable this one right now and uh, then create the, the Azure Data Factory with the, your uh, uh, customer manage key you have to have create a user assigned identity for encryption first uh, as we did in the uh, previous steps um, and then you will go ahead and create uh, your azure data factory our azure data factory is created we can go to the resource uh, and uh, here i will uh, click uh, uh, this uh, tech brothers adf dash so tech brothers dash adf dash dev that's our azure data factory name and should show up right here and then now uh, we will go to the portal and here uh, we will see if the key is in customer managed key is enabled. So you can see right there that information and uh, looks like it is a uh, it just worked fine. And if you go to the integration runtime here, you are gonna see auto resolve, but it will be type of a managed virtual network. As the time of creating, we uh, check mark on that one. So our auto resolve is the managed virtual network type. Okay. So I hope uh, this uh, video help you to create uh, your uh, Azure Data Factory with the customer managed key by using a user assigned managed identity. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and uh, see you guys in the next video.